Hey guys, it's Fish Shuzzy here, and welcome to episode 10 of the San Marino Challenge. Now, today's episode is probably the, well, yeah, I'd say it's probably the highlight of Football Manager 2019 so far. Now, I did actually win the league with Athletic Bilbao in my previous series, but this kind of feels a little bit more important. Of course, last season we choked... We did not get promoted. We had to spend another season in Serie D. And as you can see here, we are now champions of Serie D, Group D, or Girone D, with 79 points. Mantova behind us. They didn't actually manage to catch us, thank God, (laughs) because there was a, a little point in time where the choke could have happened. But as you can see, we've still maintained a nice little four point gap over them. And uh, yeah, they, they're essentially us from last season, despite not really being in the lead and then choking. So yeah. Um, today's game is going to be against Koragese. We're also going to do a little bit of a season review, go through some player stats and stuff like that. Uh, but first things first, let's go over the fixtures. Of course, the previous episode was the 2-1 victory over Vigazio, and well, since then, we've been pretty good. We've almost been flawless, um, a disappointing draw uh, that we'll go get into in a minute, but I mean, it wasn't actually that disappointing in the end, actually. So the next game after the Vigazio game was Ultrepo Voghera, managed to beat them 2-0 through Gasperi and Raza. We then went home against, I think they were in 18th place, and uh, yeah, Adrenze put up a big fight, and there were there were moments where I thought that they were possibly going to get the, the thrill and the draw there, but we managed to hold on for the 3-2 victory, Gasperi opened the scoring in the first minute, uh, we then went, well, essentially 3-0 up through Fabri and Raza, and uh, yeah, their player, Capellini, managed to get two goals back for him. And honestly, some of our players were not playing too well, especially in defense, after conceding those goals. We then played the Serie D Cup semi-final, first leg, at home, against Monterosi. And as you can see, we managed to beat them 1-0, despite having Fabri sent off on the stroke of half-time. Donati managed to get the 82nd minute winner here. And, uh, yeah... To say we were lucky is probably a little bit of an understatement. The next game was against Lumizane. We managed to beat them 2-1. As you can see, the goal scoring opened through an own goal from their player, DeSantis. They then got a penalty. Um, you know, one all. Disappointing to give the penalty away. And then Raza, a few minutes later, managed to get the winner. The next game was against Classe. And as you can see, we absolutely battered them. 5-2 victory. Fabri with four goals. The highest ever amount of goals scored for the club. And uh, yeah, Raza was also on the score sheet for us there. We did concede two goals though. So, not the greatest in the world. Uh, The next game was the second leg of the semi-final against Monterosi. And as you can see, once again, we had another player sent off. The new guy, Adamo. He got sent off in the 67th minute. We were already 1-0 up through Raza. um, And they also got a penalty pretty much right at the end of the game in the 90th minute, which they put away. So a one-all draw. However, not that disappointing because, well, as you can see at the bottom of the screen there, the next episode will be the Serie D Cup Final. And guess, guess who? Mantova. It had to be. I mean, they could get revenge for the league in this game, and, um, yeah, it, it's going to be exciting, it's, it, I really would like to win the Serie D Cup as well, because then essentially I've, I've won the playoffs last season, despite it meaning nothing, now this season I've won Serie D, or I've won our group in Serie D, so I get promotion, and to win the Serie D Cup would essentially mean that I've won every trophy available throughout this stage of the game or throughout the Serie D sort of area. Um, so yeah, 
Today's game doesn't really mean too much. Uh, a couple of players, unfortunately, will miss out. Uh, we'll go through the lineup here. San Giorgi in goal. We're going to go with Stefanelli. Um, I think that is just because we're having to play Sal Cooney as the defensive midfielder. Uh, Pellini, I think he picked up a yellow card. Yeah, so he's out through, I think, five yellow card suspension. Um, so, yeah. The other two centre-backs will be Gramizzi and Capozzi. Mingucci will be the right wing back, Marconi the left wing back. And as I mentioned, Sal Cooney will play the, the deep line playmaker, defensive midfielder. The three centre midfielders are going to be Everisti, who comes in uh, for Fabri, who I think also. I think he, he's also suspended, isn't he? Yes, he is. So I guess, in a way, it's kind of good because all these suspended players like Pellini and Fabri will actually be back for the cup final. So it work, kind of works out perfectly. The game doesn't mean anything. They miss out. We get them back. Good stuff. So yeah, Everisti, Gasperi, and Donati will be the three center mids. And then we're going to go with Raza up front. Only thing I'm worried about is maybe Mingucci. I think we're going to play Dario. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I don't want him to get a, another yellow card, so we're going to have to do that. Weakens the team a little bit, but we'll see what happens, like I mentioned. Doesn't really mean too much in terms of how our season's going to go. I mean, it would be nice to win this game as well. And um, that's, of course, what I always, I always aim to win every game, more or less. I mean, maybe, maybe if it's a cup game, that doesn't mean anything. But yeah. Gasperi with a free kick here. Ooh, Donati. Ooh, Stefanelli. Nice little Donati header back into the center. And Stefanelli puts it away. Sorry about that. Just had to do a nasty little cough. My voice has been playing up the last few days. It might not be too noticeable, but... Ooh, nice little goal there from Marconi. Diadario with the assist as well. I mean, things are going good. We've just got two goals in, what, the space of three minutes or something? Yeah, I'm very happy with how things are going so far. I kind of expected to, to either lose or draw this game, because it doesn't really matter, but... The boys are playing pretty well. Everisti shoots, and he scores. Oh my god. What a goal, son. It's like a low bullet. And we're 3-0 up. What, 20... What was it? 27 minutes in? 28 minutes in? Not bad. I just wish that this result was coming in the cup final. That'd be great. And I mean, they haven't even had a shot in the whole first half, so... Yeah, things are looking pretty good at the moment. Um, I'm very pleased. Hopefully we don't, you know, capitulate in the second half. That wouldn't, it wouldn't be too good. But as you can see, we've got a lot of good ratings in the team. I mean, I haven't seen it too often that that many players have been on like over a seven rating for a game. I mean, occasionally you might get like three or four players. But for the whole team, I mean, even the whole defense is smashing it. Uh, we're going to make some subs, because I want to keep people fresh. Uh, Gasberry can come off. Uh, who else? I mean, everyone else is kind of fit. Maybe Marconi? Yeah, we'll do those two. Sounds good to me. Alright. Salcuni running very slowly to get that ball. Marconi, Gasperi shoots. Oh, just wide. And uh, those two players will be coming off the field. So, hopefully, no injuries. That'd be great. As we've got about 15 minutes left of the game here. I've really, really enjoyed this, this second season in charge of San Marino. I think another maybe one or two seasons. And we might look at the national team. But as far as things go right now, uh, you know, the club team is a lot of work. And I mean, to be fair, it's probably not going to get any easier. 
for a while. I mean, seriously, I, I did... Oh. I was going to say, I thought that was a penalty then, but it's a yellow card to their player. Yes, I've been looking at Serious E teams, and the golfing quality is a lot. There is a lot of really good players in the in the division above us. So I, I, I'm hoping we do really well next season. However, I think we might be you know fighting relegation. I think that's probably what's going to happen. I mean, we've just beaten Corrigese 3-0. Uh, Mantova actually lost to Lumizano. Interesting. So they would have won. Uh, they would have lost the league to us anyway today, um, had we lost our previous game. Um, but yeah, we managed to win it. So good stuff. And there we go. Second season. Well, n it's not done and dusted yet. I'm um, just going to prave it. Everisti praise Everisti here, and we'll have a look at some player stats. Uh, overview. Uh, what am I doing? Squad. Yeah, we'll go over average ratings. Oh yeah, interesting. Gasperi has played really, really well. By far the best player in the team. Seven point three five in thirty six games. That's a pretty high average rating. I'm pretty. He was one of the top performers last season as well. But 14 goals, 8 assists for him. It's a decent return, I think. Probably part of the reason why we've been promoted. Between him and Raza, I think they've been the two standout players this season. Marconi is actually ahead of Raza. Um, but I think strikers get penalised a little bit more than certain other players by missing chances and stuff. Uh, but yeah, good to see Marconi there with the 7.13. He got 9 goals and 9 assists in the wing-back position. And then, of course, we got Raza with 16 goals and 3 assists. Uh, just behind them is the two centre mids. We've got Fabri and Donati. Fabri with a 7.11 and Donati with a 7.10. Both having pretty good seasons, to be honest. They're both, what, under... They're both under 19 players. Fabry, of course, very, very young. We'll actually have a look at his profile. Unfortunately, his determination has dropped a little bit. Uh, as you can see, he's only a three-star rated player now. He was three and a half. So that's a little bit disappointing. He's still not natural in the center midfield position. Uh, hopefully, that'll come next season. Um, I do believe that we have actually gone professional. Yeah, as you can see, we've now gone professional. I think that happens automatically when you get promoted due to the fact that I think the Serious C division is a professional league. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, nine goals, four assists for Fabri. Donati with seven goals, six assists. So, fairly consistent between the two of those. Uh, just behind them, we've got Polini, of course. Unsung hero, for sure. And he's been on a 7.09, playing 37 games. So, yeah, a couple... Well, sorry, one ahead of Gasperi. Only the one goal, but five assists as well from the defensive midfield position. Um, interestingly enough, Kapotzi, the left, well, the left-footed centre back, the left-sided, the left side centre back as well of the three. Yeah, he played forty games this season, got a seven point zero five, um, which is pretty good for a centre back. I, I think he might be one of the highest-rated centre backs um, I've seen, you know, personally. But, yeah, really good season from him. Uh, just behind him is Minguchi, the right wing back, of course, who didn't actually play that much. I think he might have had an injury, actually, at the start of the season. Yeah, 7.05 for him. One goal, eight assists. Pretty good return from... It's pretty much what you would want from a wing back. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, guys. Give the video a like. Perfect season. Well, not a perfect season. We lost four games with four draws, but we've gotten promoted. We're going to Serie C. Our first promotion. You know, we've got two more to do to get to Serie A. Um, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Uh, we have to. I mean, it's the only way to prog progress the national team and get ourselves better youth prospects. Yeah, subscribe if you want to keep up to date with these episodes as well. They'll be coming out, hopefully, 
every other day. So every second day there'll be an episode out. Uh, that is what I aim for. Sometimes it doesn't happen, but we'll see how we go. And don't forget to join me for the next episode, which will be the Serie D Cup final against Mantova. Of course, a little bit of a rivalry with Mantova this season. It's going to be a good episode, and hopefully we win. Anyways, guys, take it easy. I'll see you next time.